Hello, it's Gary Boys, Eric and Dish, and I'm back with another new episode. Today's episode number 255 of the Scratcher Show. Sorry I've been absent for a little bit, but I haven't um, bar scratch a ticket in almost a week since it was uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I went to the casino with my dad on the day after Thanksgiving. Did very well playing at Spanish 21. Uh, gained hard dollars that I came into, um, and it was a fifteen dollars per bet. Then the next day I went, went again this time to try the double tack blackjack, which is Spanish twenty one. But unfortunately, I did not do good. I basically lost on three three hands. Both of them were again fifteen dollars. I think that's the toughest part about going to see on the weekends. Not only have to find a parking spot, which I was lucky this past Saturday to find one right by the front door, and the other one is that it's possible to try to win $15 a hand, even though I was lucky the day before. So in any case, um, also I played a couple of slot machines during the two visits, did not do good on the uh, Sons of Anarchy, but I played the, the new the new game that's been probably the rage on YouTube, uh, Rock Around the Clock. I got a bonus, but nothing much. So in case, that away, let's um, get into today's episode. We have one ticket to do, and it's from the Illinois Lottery. As I've gone back there again, and again, trying this. $10 ticket that I kind of like, uh, $200,000 crossword, you know how it, go, you know how it goes, um, got to get three words to win, and if that happens, I scratch the multiplier, if it's, uh, if it's 2x, I win double, and these are, bought two of these at the um, All-Star in Lance, All-Star Gas Station in Lansing, these three tickets numbers 23 and 24, and before I scratch ticket, this one, ticket number 23, uh, I got a little something to share with you. This is the art ticket that I scratched off screen. Ticket number 24. And as you can see, this is a winner because I have three words. I have here odd, hum, and that's, I mean, odd, hum, and bound. So it's got three words, so I at least got my money back. I think it was very poor, and I, I was able to get at least, able to get, uh, at least one or two of the small words. And what's funny is that after I um, completed the word hum, I said to myself, all I need is a D to win on this, and I basically got, as you can see, I only have one word left to do, and I have not scratched the other Ds on here, I'm using this uh, Earl Liar Scratcher, since it's kind of hard to scratch with a, with a dime or a small coin. And as you can see, I've already got Kid finish. There's two words right there. So now I need. There's no uh, D's in this last grid. So now I need another completed word to get my money back, uh, either on this one or or this one. And uh, I would get my money back on both of these tickets, or on the hopefully getting the the double on the bonus more player or what. Kill all would say the doubler. All right, here's the last word for you. Because I stopped, as I mentioned, I stopped at the exact moment when I got three words. Lower S.
Nope, nothing on two or three. So let's see the multiplier. And it is a 2x. How about that? So I'm getting my money back on both of these tickets. Wow. I was right. So odds on winning $20 are surprisingly 1 in 7.5 considering it's 1 in 12 to get your money back on this. And you can see the odds to win 30 40, 60 uh, is just uh, somewhat outrageous, and odds of winning, as you may mention, is 1 in 3.60 on these, on these tickets. So it's very nice that I'm going to get my money back no matter what I do on the next ticket, which is ticket number 23. So surprisingly enough, my luck is changing from the last couple of episodes. All right, here we go. Here's ticket 23. So no matter what, like I said, no matter what happens on here, I'm getting my money back. Let's hope I get make a profit out of this. All right, let's start with the, since I start off screen going, Left to right, let's start up and down. Have an A and an N. Very nice to get at least two of the same letters on top of each other. As you know, new tickets are coming out tomorrow for Illinois Lottery and the Hoosiers Lottery don't know what it's going to be. I know for a fact it's going to include the $1 New Year's uh, tickets. Don't know what they're going to be coming out with. I saw on Let's Scratch channel the Ohio Lottery came out with a new $20 ticket and new uh, ticket of the Wizard of Oz. I don't know if it's 3 or $5. Look at that. Jay-Z. All I have to say is, Tim is screw you. Yep, that's what Sam, Sam Davis Jr. famously said to Archie Bunker, you ain't better than nobody. What is a muskox? All right. X and H. This one out of the way.
S and W. Nice, double S's. All right, next set of letters, T and G. Okay, next letter is me halfway done on this. U and B. Next letters, V and a D. Alright, so I and an L. So we got three vowels found. And they have low finished.
remember a couple episodes ago I mentioned, I think it was the birthday special I mentioned about the lies going on with the, that, the whole fake, uh, again, finish the whole uh, fake bombing in, in Paris. Can you believe the incident happened inside a theater, which, if you remember, the exact same kind of place of what happened or come out three years ago, which, oh, by the way, James Jones did not do it. It was all fake. They knew about his father, you know, worked military intelligence, but let me back to, um, to this. Can you believe, I was watching his, his videos, can you believe the, the there was a band that I never even heard of called Eagles of Death Metal performing? Had heard of the Eagles, but not Eagles of Death Metal. And can you believe the song that they were playing at the time that the quote incident happened was called Kiss the Devil? Because if you remember when the Rolling Stones played at the Altamont concert, the song they played when Merit Hunter was stabbed to death. No, by the way, it really did happen. The song the Stones were playing, if you remember, was simply for the devil. I mean, isn't that a coincidence? That gives you an idea just how sickening the, the ruling class is. Um, any more shocking? I think it came on the same day the, the Peanuts movie was released, in which it was set in Paris. So you cannot deny these links as what that person said in that documentary that Morgan Spock did called Super Size Me. You just can't. Alright, six layers to go. J and a P. Ready? See in a Y. Scan is finished. Jay's finished. All right, last two letters. A Z. Blitz is done. Put on the blitz. letter a Q
Nope, I don't see anything. Let's see. Nope, this appears to be losers to the multiplier, and it was a 1x, so I got a little bit lucky on the other ticket. That went ticket 23, but on ticket 24, as you can see, I have three words on the first grid. And I got, as I mentioned, got a little lucky by getting the 2x. So instead of breaking even, I got $20, and I've still broken even on both these tickets. So it was very good to, to finally get a winner out, out of this. Well, that's it for this edition of Scratch Show. This is Eric and this saying goodbye. Remember, please pray responsibly. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again for the next episode. Have a nice day.